What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today is kind of a very simple install, at least it should be very, very simple. We have something very small for the Subaru. It just came in the mail, it's actually still in the car. I probably should have got it out before I started filming. But what's in here is something that I think is overdue and it really, really makes the inside of the car look nice and clean, especially at nighttime. What we're gonna be replacing today is the dome lights on the interior. Replacing these is gonna make the inside of the car really, really bright, and I think LEDs look so much cleaner than halogens or even stock bulbs. I don't think this car has halogens, but it doesn't look like they're LEDs, so I'm just gonna replace them. The kit was actually very, very inexpensive. Let's get to unpackaging the LEDs, and then we'll go install them. All right, so. I guess you get a two-year warranty. That's pretty cool. So hold on to this card. So we will for a two-year warranty. I'm cool with that. Read before installation. That's easy enough. So it looks like you get quite a few LEDs. They don't specify which ones are which. So I guess I'm just gonna keep the ones that are the same and put those together. And then we'll see where these all go by popping off this and the one back there. I don't think there's any other interior lights. This one might have like two and this one might have like three. I don't know. It did come with license plate replacement bulbs as well, but Maddie's cars are completely out and mine are still working fine. So we're gonna put those in her car because the police like to see your license plate. So for now, we're just gonna work on the Subaru's interior lights and I guess we'll just get a flathead and I think that's all you need to pop this cover off. It doesn't have any like visible screws or anything and it looks like there's a little indentation right here for a flathead or something. So, I am a little concerned with this, but I think we'll be okay. I hooked this light up right here, so you can actually see what's going on. And it's clipped onto this, so it's not on anything that's gonna scratch. So we're gonna go over to the other side and try to get these covers off. One of the added benefits to a quick release is doing anything on the interior. It just frees up so much space here. Like I said, and I've seen videos where you just pop this plastic off, and I'm a little nervous, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see if it works. Okay, perfect, so that was exactly it, that hole right here. Um, I guess just be a little more careful than I was because you don't wanna put these, but you can't see them. But yeah, just this right here in the front is where the flathead would go in, and then I just pried it and then kinda worked my way, as you can see, and it literally just fell out. These, we'll go ahead and pull these out. That's how they look like they come out. Oh, it just comes out. Okay, so we'll go find the ones that look like this and replace them. So I'd imagine these ones are gonna be the replacement. Let's go with that. So I just remembered I didn't do it like a before and after, so I'm gonna pop this one back in real quick and then throw in one of these and then that way you can see which one's brighter, but how much better the LEDs are gonna look than these guys. All right, so it's a little weird, but this one, this LED seems to be constant, like really dim, but this is the halogen, and then this is the LED. If not, I, it is brighter, but this is a lot more white, and I think that looks so much better. Like this looks old and like outdated, and this is very modern. It is weird because this is in the off position and there's a tiny bit. Let's shut this light off. So, and this guy. So as you can see, there's a little, like they're glowing super dim. And then when you turn this on, they're like on. So I don't know, maybe we'll see if the other one does that and go from there. This one's in and as you can see, this one doesn't have anything. And then this one has this super dim, I don't, I don't know. Is it not like in right? No, it's just. If I flip it around, is it? But that would just not work if it was the wrong one. Don't mind my shift knob. It's 
still doing that. I wonder if I put it, put this one where this one is. Or we'll put this one over here. Hmm. Yeah, huh. It's this right here. Mm, well, doesn't seem like there's anything I can do about that. Yep. That's a satisfying click. Ah, oh, but that's so annoying. But they're very bright, so that's good. I'll check up on that one later and see if maybe something changes. I don't know. So now that these two are installed, we will move on to this guy right here. Whoa, that was easy. Make sure we don't lose that. Oh, what do you know? This one already has an LED in it. It's the same one, oh, a little smaller. This one never turned on, so, or at least I could, it was in backwards. That would explain. But while I'm in here and I have it, I think I'm gonna replace it. Ooh, this one's gonna be a lot brighter. Not very often do I find myself sitting back here. Whoa, that's bright. We'll put that off for now. Whoa. Oh, I probably dropped it and put it in backwards. Ooh, that's very bright. So the cover, where did I put that? Great, I set it somewhere so I wouldn't lose it, and I ended up losing it. Ooh, <laughs> that's nice. Well, I'm trying to think, cause there's no more lights in here it has a lot more in the kit let's see what's left in the kit i think these are the license plate lights but what are these i mean this kit is for more cars than just mine so it could just have a few extra but let's kill this light and close all the doors because it has tint so it'll make it darker completely in the car we'll just kick them on from up here nice and then this one, that one's actually really bright. Yeah, I just think they look a ton better. And that one's still doing that. That is super weird. I don't know why, I mean, just messing with stuff. It looks a lot brighter on camera than it really is. You can barely see it on off camera. So we'll actually use our new lights to end this video. Uh, the lighting's pretty decent. This camera actually does very, very well in the light. If you guys didn't know, I don't film with my DSLR anymore. I use the G7X. It actually shoots really, really good video. I need to get the wind, like a dead cat, uh, or a windscreen or something on the top. But for now, it actually shoots really, really well. I love this camera a lot. Super easy to take everywhere. So, but unfortunately, <laughs> there's not gonna be many more shows this year, if not any. So the Subaru is actually gonna be going over some big changes, hopefully this winter and I'll probably make a video talking about those, but for now, little things like this and teardowns, cleanup, things like that are gonna be happening this winter. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna try to film a lot more and I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, go ahead and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. And if you like this video, like the video, and I will provide a link to these, well, to the store that sells these. This kit was $12 and it came with the license plate lights as well that I didn't install in my car. So if you wanna convert your interiors to LEDs, and I think they look so much better, uh, the first link in the description will get you there and you can pick up a set. So thank you guys so much for watching and as always, have an awesome day.